The second the door opened, the stench of gasoline and burning flesh overwhelmed me, stinging my nostrils. A pile of blackened bodies lie scattered around the door, some still burning, most of them still moving ever so slightly. The ones that were dead, well, really dead, had already liquefied. Puddles of burning gasoline were everywhere. The air was thick with smoke. Go! shouted Dante, who quickly shoved Jeff's wheelbarrow through the door. I paused for a split second behind Dante so I could yell up the ladder and through the trap door in the ceiling. Hurry up, Aaron! I then raced after them. Dante wheeled Jeff down the back of the Walmart in the direction of the parking lot. Jeff was sitting up in the wheelbarrow with his shotgun raised in front of him. I glanced behind me and saw a group of residents coming around the other end of the store and heading in our direction. Hurry up, Dante! I shouted. Moving as fast as I can, man, he yelled back to me. We reached the edge of the building and turned the corner. Most of the herd were still congregated in front of the store, but there were still dozens scattered across the far end of the parking lot. Dante pushed Jeff ahead of him in a wild dash, dodging around the corpses, skirting the main parking lot, racing toward the highway. I was right behind Dante. I felt something then grab me from behind. A corpse had a hold of me, clutching my backpack. Live. I tried to pull away, but its grip was too strong. Hey, live. I quickly slid out of my backpack straps and left it behind. Another corpse lunged at the wheelbarrow, and Jeff fired his pistol, blasting it in the head. The shotgun alerted the horde, and instantly they turned, as a whole, and spotted us. Live! Hate live! Hate living! They began screaming in unison, and charged in our direction. They were no more than a hundred yards away. Oh shit! I screamed, completely panicked. The crowd surged toward us, closing the distance. There was no way we could outrun them. I knew we were about to die. Suddenly, something arched through the air with a streak of flame, and a fireball erupted behind us and the horde, causing them to draw back fearfully. I looked around and saw Aaron sprinting toward us, fumbling in his backpack for another Molotov cocktail. Move your asses! He screamed at us, turning with a Bic lighter in one hand and a Molotov cocktail in the other. He quickly lit it and hurled it at the herd. Another fireball then splashed up, separating the mass of homicidal walking cadavers from us. I felt a fleeting sense of relief to see Aaron had made it out. He caught up to us, panting heavily. That's my last one. Hurry the fuck up. We gotta get out of here, he said. We were about three quarters of the way to the front end of the parking lot, nearly home free. For a split second, I thought we were going to be okay. Then I spotted a huge pothole in the pavement directly in front of Dante and Jeff. Dante, in a blind panic, was heading right for it. Look out, Dante! I shouted, but it was too late. Dante drove Jeff's wheelbarrow right into the pothole. The wheelbarrow overbalanced and turned over, spilling Jeff and the supplies piled all around him onto the ground. He screamed as his injured ankle struck the asphalt. The oh, fuck! Aaron shouted. Him and I ran to help. We gotta get him back in! Dante screamed. He and Aaron then began reaching down to grab Jeff. Hate life! Hate living! Hate life! Hate living! Hate life! Hate living! I spun around quickly, and my heart sank. The flames were already dying out, and the herd had resumed its relentless pursuit of us. The closest was only about thirty yards away. 
Some of them were in flames, but they pushed on regardless. They're coming! I shouted. Dante and Aaron then looked up. We gotta go now, Dante said. We can't leave Jeff! Aaron screamed. No! Jeff hissed through clenched teeth. A grimace of pain fixed on his face. Dante's right. There isn't enough time. I'm fucked. Leave me and save your own asses, he said. The fuck we will! Aaron yelled. Jeff then pointed his pistol in Aaron's face. Aaron froze in shock. Jeff then spoke in a very calm but very intense voice. I'm not asking. I'm telling. Leave me and go. It's better that one of us dies than all four of us. Now go! He yelled. Aaron looked at me and Dante. There was a look of mournful resignation on his face. Let's get the fuck out of here, he said. I'll try to hold them back, Jeff said, raising his pistol to the fast approaching horde. The three of us then ran across the remaining stretch of the parking lot, back onto the street that we had come in on. There weren't many residents on the street. Behind us, I heard Jeff firing his pistol repeatedly. Then he stopped shooting and began to scream. I threw a final look back and wish I hadn't. They were surrounding Jeff and were beginning to tear him apart. I saw Jeff, in final desperation, raise the pistol to his own temple and then pull the trigger. The gun was empty. We ran, with Jeff's dying agonizing screams following after us until he fell silent. For a while after Jeff's death, everything was a kind of disordered blur. My memory of the immediate aftermath of our escape is very hazy and jumbled from the terror and the shock of losing one of our members in such a brutal, horrifying manner. I remember Dante stopping and turning to face the corpses, screaming and shouting incoherently, then emptying his shotgun into the herd, racking the slide and pulling the trigger on an empty chamber, over and over and over again, crying hysterically until Aaron slapped him to bring him back to his senses. I remember a resident that was hardly more than a skeleton in the tattered remains of what looked to have once been the uniform of a Civil War Union soldier trying to ambush us from behind a parked car as we ran by it. Aaron simply clubbed it aside with his shotgun. We ran for our lives, with the mob of undead maniacs pursuing us all the while. Somehow, at some point, we lost them and managed to escape town and get back on the open road.